All right, this is a follow-up to yesterday's dumpster diving friggin' meat haul video. And some people asked, did Frugal Daddy in fact go back? And yes, he did. And we were gonna make another video about it because I thought, eh, it's just more meat, you know? Eh, whatever. But then when I saw what he got, I thought, oh God, we're filming this. And I also wanted to address some questions that came up following yesterday's video because, of course, since it's dumpster meat, some people were concerned that, um, Why you know, is it dumpster? Yeah, that we'd be killing yeah. ourselves by eating this meat. So, some people asked if there was a recall. So, I Googled it for both the USDA and for all these websites, and there was no recall. People also suggested that even though it was cold outside, perhaps the meat had sat around inside the store unrefrigerated for a while or the refrigeration system had broken. And a very experienced diver pointed out that if the refrigeration system had broken down, you would see other things out there in the dumpster, probably like dairy, like cheese and yogurt and ice cream and other things, which there wasn't. And I felt that if the meat, in fact, had just been sitting around in a big pile in the back of the store before it had gone out to the dumpsters and it was at room temperature, I think meat can sit out at room temperature for a pretty good amount of time before it's going to go bad. I mean, haven't you ever taken meat out of the fridge and you forgot about it and it's been sitting on your kitchen counter all day? It doesn't go bad that fast. And it was also pointed out that you can you can tell. Like, we've eaten meat before. You can tell if meat's gone bad. You can tell by the smell and it gets slimy and weird. And I've had meat that went bad. So, and I could tell and I spit it out. So, um, there you go. So I think we're pretty safe with the meat. We did cook up some hamburger last night, and here we are alive the next yeah. day. And we always check it, always. I, I check everything. We and smell it. We sm you can tell a lot by the smell. So yesterday afternoon, when it was dark and rainy, Frugal Daddy went back out. Well, I actually went shopping Well, I wasn't going to tell you that part. All right, I sent him out for ice cream, okay? I did. I admit it. I'm sorry. My diet is a complete failure. I suck. I am the worst example in the world. Do what I say, not what I do. I have got to get my shit together in the diet world because I am too young to feel this old and crappy. So, yes, I sent him out for ice cream. Wasn't going to mention that, but, but he went. Okay. It's a good thing he did, though. Well, it's a the universe wanted him to go back, so it was me going, wait a minute, are you still here? Haven't you left? Have you gotten ice cream already? The girls are sick. They need ice cream for their sore throats. Did you like how I threw that in as the reason? So, okay. So anyway, as I was pulling so up to back. Aldi. In the pouring rain, in the, in the dark. I mean, pouring. pouring rain. There was someone with a giant cart just dumping things into the dumpster, and I thought, let me go get the ice cream, see if the person's gone. <laughs> So I went, got the ice cream, drove over to the dumpster afterwards, and... It was full again! It was full again. And the funny thing was, there were more people there. There were people parked there. I, I started grabbing things. Some you meet your other dumpster divers. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he met dumpster diving friends. He's yeah, got I, two new friends. I, I was there just grabbing away, lo loading up my car, and uh, this guy came over and he said... You know what, I've been waiting for you to leave, but obviously you're not leaving, so I'm just going to join you. <laughs> and uh, I'm helping him pull stuff that he couldn't reach because he wanted certain things and I wanted certain things. And they work as a team. Said, so, you see all, we're going to show you all he brought home last night. Keep in mind, two other people also filled their cars with groceries. So You could have filled ten cars. I know, it's unbelievable. So should we show the first healthy thing? Because you look well, excited less, about it. Well, lest you think it's all meat. Big bag of potatoes. An open bag of potatoes. Meat and potatoes. And they're fine. I took this out of a box so I wouldn't waste space. This is in a bag that is sealed. Still it's sealed. Factory sealed. <laughs> Twelve packages of Hatfield Sweet Sausage Links. Use or freeze by 217. And today is 211, I believe. So we are well within expiration. Yeah. Oh, somebody else pointed out in the comments yesterday that Aldi gets new shipments of meat every day. So they'll just clear the old stuff out right. if they've uh, miscalculated how much they're going to sell. Which actually I found very comforting. Because I was a little bit afraid that I would wake up dead this morning. But I didn't. I woke up alive. And also, what I think is 
Um, because you said to me, why don't they discount it? Yeah, right, because, exactly. Why don't they just mark it down? Because someone's not going to buy the expensive Right, then nobody will buy the new then stuff that they bought and they shouldn't over. have. Right, exactly. So we have three packages here of chicken drumsticks. We have quite a few of these rather large packages of ground turkey. Ground meat looks like brain. Because it's like... Because it's curvy like a brain. But if it, if it was a half of a circle, it would be look like a really like a... Yeah. You know what we could do, Nimi? What? We could shape it into a, a meatloaf. Like with two two half circles put together as a meatloaf okay. and make it look like a real brain. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. To Autumn, we're giving her brains for dinner. Okay, I have a good story about brains. So I was in a psychology class in college and the teacher rolls out on, um, you know, like one of those wheelie carts they have like in science labs. Mm -hmm. A human brain is on the cart and he's talking about it and the different parts of the brain and what they do. Then he takes a piece of it and pops it in his mouth. It was made of oatmeal. It was not a real brain. But his whole point was it, it had to do with perception. Like, you know, we perceived that it was real and, you know, all that. So whatever, I just will never forget, like, this brain made of oatmeal. It looks quite real. That would be so good for Halloween. Anyway, so we have tons of... Uh, squiggly ground turkey that looks like brain, and we have a lot more hamburger meat because God knows we didn't have okay, enough. Right. There's the breast meat he yes. wanted. Yes. Oh, the universe felt bad for you getting all that thigh meat. Also, more boneless thighs. More boneless thighs. Kind of, I just fell in as I was grabbing. Oh my gosh. But these are, um, regular breasts. Split chicken breasts. Split breasts. Now, check this out. This is pretty cool. This has like a little pork tenderloin in it right here. And then it has all the vegetables that go with the roast. So we have some carrots and some potatoes and some onion and some celery. And, oh, it's for slow cooker. These are fully cooked chicken fajitas. And seasoned and seared pork carnitas. That looks really, really pretty good. Guys, they're the legs of chicken. That's right. These are actually the legs of chickens. Me figured it out. Two huge pork loin roasts, and how many did you leave behind? Um, Hundreds? About, yeah, about 40. Did, oh my god, did <laughs> like, the other the, guys take the them? The other guys are taking them, yeah. I watched another uh, dumpster diving video last night, and the woman had the um, term, which I loved, opportunivore. Ooh, like, she, I like it. She's a vegan, so she won't eat meat at all, but her boyfriend <laughs> is basically a vegan, except when they find meat in a dumpster, and he will, he'll never buy it, but he will eat it if the opportunity has brought itself. And I was like, oh, I love that term. That's what I am. I'm an opportunivore. I would never, ever buy it. And I didn't eat meat for years, but I think if it comes to us free like this. Well. All right. Two huge boxes. Unopened. What could be in them? Salmon fillets. Amazing. Fresh Atlantic salmon. Use or freeze by 218. And they're vacuum sealed, so that's always better. They are better. vacuum sealed. That's always preferable, isn't it? Yes. Who wants some salmon? Who wants some tilapia? If you like Dumpster Diving, click to subscribe. That's right. Thumbs up meat. What was it? Go meat. Go meat. Go meat. Go meat. Comment below and share on social media.